Hi, friends. Ryan Lestranger with a Monday word, and my Monday word is the supernatural push. There is a push that releases the power of God in you and through you. I want to read Romans 8, 26. Likewise, the Spirit helps our infirmities. We know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. In this passage, the Bible is teaching us about praying in the Spirit. And it's saying, look, you have a limitation. Your natural mind can't properly discern the ways of God. Your natural mind doesn't always know the will of God. But there is a push that will push the will of God forth in your life every time. There is a push that will push the abundance of God in areas of your life supernaturally. There is a push that will push calamity out of the way and manifest peace. There is a push that will push redemption forth and, and, and cause bondage to go away. There is a push that will bring victory in your family. When you don't know how to pray as you should, the Holy Spirit, Spirit will make intercession through you. And this is the gift of tongues manifesting through you. And the Bible said that praying in tongues praise the mind of the Spirit. Now, I want you to see this in verse number 28. He said, and we know that all things work together for good. I want you to note that word good. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. So this passage of scripture has been used for funerals like, you know, this person got hit by a car because uh, God was working it for good. I don't believe that's what this is saying in context. I believe it's talking about spirit praying. And it's saying there is a supernatural push that will cause things to begin to line up in your life supernaturally, will cause things to be moved around and rearranged supernaturally, and will cause cause you to arrive at the appointed destination. Why? Because you didn't pray your own understanding. You didn't pray what you thought about the situation. You didn't pray what you looked at the situation and saw with your natural eyes. But there was a supernatural push. You let the Holy Spirit pray through you. And he's literally birthing the will of God. And all things are working together for good. God is divinely rearranging things in your life. That it's almost, I think about those home redesign shows where the, 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 the occupants leave, the owners leave, and then they walk in and they look around and say, my goodness, look at this. It looks like a brand new place. God is working like that in your life when you pray in the Spirit. He's rearranging areas of your life that you arrive there and say, this is better than I even imagined. Because God, the master designer, designed it for you. All you've got to do is show up in the classroom of the Holy Spirit and let him bypass your natural mind and pray the perfect will of God, the prayer that is answered every time. That is what the language of heaven accomplishes. So, Father, I pray today in Jesus' name. I thank you for your word that all things are working together for our good. I thank you, God, that you are bringing it to pass. I thank you, God, that you are aligning it. You're connecting the pieces of the puzzle, and you're working it in our favor that we will arrive at the appointed destination because we simply chose to pray in the Spirit. I thank you for it, and I bless your people today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.